Hello students. I hope you are preparing wholeheartedly for CAT and all the other competitive exams that you wish to take. The student is very important that you take each and every area of your preparation in such a manner as it has got the required significance from the exam point of view. So today students I have come here to discuss a very important topic that is average which usually we treat as a very very easy topic and the examiner creates a very very complex problem out of this very topic. Either he makes the statement of the questions so tough that it becomes difficult to solve or he gives the language very very difficult or he creates the conditions which are very very difficult in such case. The students as we usually call average is basically the sum of terms divided by number of terms but there are other approach we can call it basically average is actually an act of balancing because the number of pluses or on one side has to be equal to the number of minuses on the other. Now let's take an actual cat question here and try to solve it by both approaches to understand how this kind of a question can really make your life difficult in cat kind of a paper and how can you solve that questions logically in a quicker manner. Just have a look at this question students. Now in this question he has given the ages of a family 10 years ago add up to 231. Three years later one member of 60 year dies and a child was born and after another three years the same thing happens once again. After that he talks about the current average age of this eight member family. So students let's first try to solve this question by way of the traditional approach. Now here uh, let's assume that 10 years ago uh, the ages were x1, x2 till x8 and their sum is given to us as 231 years. Now three years later x1 an elderly member dies and B1 was born at that time the age of X7 was 60 years. So this means three years ago he must be 57 years old. Moving on three more years later X8 died and B2 was born. Now the age of X8 six years earlier will be six years lesser than 60 that is 54 years. So if you try to add the ages of all eight, 10 years ago, it comes out to be 231. So excluding those two members, their age comes out to be 120. Now students, the present ages of two children born in between must be seven and four years and others will be added by 10 years. So the sum of all the members at present would become equal to their present ages at that time, 10 years ago. Then they all will be elder by six years each seven year old one child and four years old other and that way their sum comes out to be 191 and average comes out to be 23.875 right students now this is a traditional approach to answer this now let's learn and solve this question by another method students now if you see and remember the information it says 10 years ago the total of their ages was 231 years three years later that is if i do plus three which means seven years back. Can you say they all will be elder by three years each or total they will become elder by their age will become elder by 24 years students. Now at that time a member becomes 60 and dies and his place is taken by a newly born child. So 60 years get reduced from the students. After that after another three years that is four years ago students again the same thing will happen they all will be elder by 3 so plus 24 a member becomes 60 dies now at present that is four years later than the students or the zero years they all will be elder by 8 or there will be a total addition of 32 years. Now students if you try to see the net impact of plus 24 minus 60 so this gives us a net impact of minus 36 here minus 36 here and plus 32 here. So if I take their difference the net result becomes it is a total decrease of 40 years. Now students, if we subtract 40 years from this 231 years, we get a total of 191, 
which is the age of eight people and if you divide it by eight the age comes out to be around 24 years so this 24 becomes your answer in the same manner otherwise as well students so right you can see if you try to answer this question logically students you can do it in a very very limited period of time moreover the concept becomes so easy that you can apply it in so many other questions as well now students in order to learn this kind of concept of average and a few more concepts you should register and create account at hitbullseye.com thank you so much i hope you all have learned it well thank you happy learning